Good afternoon and welcome to Have a Chat. I'm Audrey Lynch with my co-hosts Judy Loger and Veronique Arsenault. Hello. We have a great show lined up for you today. We actually have um, a lovely lady, Cara Scott, who is the owner of Leader of the Pack. Yes. She's going to be giving us some great information on some dog tips and... Mm -hmm. Uh, training. Training and pets for Christmas gifts and different things like that. And yep. we also have Karen White O'Connell joining us as well. She's the director of NBCC. So mm -hmm. to fill us all in about what's happening over there. But first up, we're going to start guests. off with Judy's quote. Your yes. turn. Something positive. That's yes. Right. Every yes. Week because, <laughs> because the next thing I have to say, there's nothing positive oh, about really? it. Okay, so. I'll melt this quote then. <laughs> okay. All right. Poor Audrey. I know. Now, both of you listen up. Okay. This is really, really good I'm with you. for okay. you and everybody. I'm with you. Okay. The quote reads, look up, laugh loud, talk big, keep the color in your cheek and the fire in your eye, adorn your person, maintain your health, your beauty, and your animal spirits. And that is by William Hazlitt. Oh, I love it. It now, is. Do you do all of that? No. That sounds exhausting <laughs> no. to me that. right at the moment. No, no, keep your <laughs> to try to look up and laugh loud. That part I do. That yeah. part I do. And you talk big, yeah. like you're not a mouse. And I do. You're not a mouse. I no. do. It was the rest of the stuff that was a lot. I'm like, keep the color in your cheek. It means like be enthusiastic and get out there yeah. and do a brisk walk and feel good about yourself. Yeah. And the fire in your eye. If I don't take care of myself. Yeah. I think, so I think you, we'd all... The part about your health, bit. maintaining yeah. your yeah. health yeah. and your beauty. Yeah. We tend to do all of that. And if there's any leftover for ourselves, well, then we'll... But you have your animal spirits. Yes. <laughs> for now. Most days. <laughs> yes. yes. those. I love that, though. I love so that. Keeps because... me married. That yeah. stuff. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> it is a wild <laughs> Christmas show today. <laughs> Um, yeah, no, I, 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 I love this because it, you know, it, it, it talking about looking up instead of looking down and, right. you know, and, worry, so and laughing and, you know, I yeah. think we don't, I, I try and laugh every day. I do. I try and laugh Me every day. Me too. Yeah. It is so. Like I said, I just look in the mirror. But when you, when you <laughs> yeah. talk big, it doesn't mean you're cocky and loud no, and no. in someone's face. It means no. you talk big with enthusiasm. That's right. And positive. Have some zip in your talk yeah. and some, yeah, yeah. life no. in, yeah, your, exactly. in your conversation. That's true. No. Now, I just want to say something because, um, over the weekend, and it happens to all of us all the time. And okay. I, I'm not, I don't, it, that sounded like it's going to be conceited, okay, but it's not. For yourself, <laughs> okay. okay, it's not. But it happens to all of us all the time. I, I ran into this lovely lady at the grocery store, and she said, I watch your show all the time. Mm -hmm. And she said, I love listening to the three of you on there. And she said, we, You seem like you have such a great time. So, That's and true. I know that we all run into people often who, and which, is, which is wonderful for us. Yes. That it is. say that they watch the show and they enjoy it. And, yeah. and you know, keep. Keep letting us know what you're thinking. Yes, for you know, sure. tell us what you want to see on the show after sure. after Christmas. We love but it, to hear from I, you. I love it when we when people tell me that they're actually enjoying they're it. They're enjoying it. Could it have been like, how do you put up with those two? I know. <laughs> and then it would have been a whole <laughs> other story. Actually, she was asking me because uh, she had just seen the show on um, uh, the makeup tips. Yes. And oh, she said. Yeah. Wasn't it you that I just saw getting your makeup done? <laughs> right. That was me. And you yeah. did a great job. It, was it is. It's very encouraging. To, it is. Because when we first started out, is anybody even watching? Has everybody even heard about it? Do they even know? know? We yeah. have our Facebook page now, and we're on YouTube. YouTube. I know. And I was like, at the arena in Rexton. I think I told you, and a man said, I see you on television. I, I said, oh, there really? you go. Yeah. Yes, yeah. in Rexton. So it's, it's fun. We, it is fun. It is. And we are. We're enjoying ourselves yeah. and having lots of fun. And, we're, and we love sharing any information yeah. that we're coming across. We'd love to get your ideas and hear it what very about. grateful that people are watching us. Oh, yes. yes, definitely. <laughs> very grateful. Okay, so up next, we're getting our very mm. first mm -hmm. winter storm, mm -hmm. and we're getting slammed we by are. the look of it. <laughs> we are. So get we're you. getting a mixture of every little thing. I, I uh, someone was kind enough yeah. to post Cindy Day's <laughs> oh. little map, okay. and and everybody's looking. Okay, I live here. Yes. I live here, and so how much snow? And everything. Snow and ice depending on where mm -hmm. you're at, and it's supposed to start this evening. Yep. Okay, and then. All day Tuesday and into Wednesday a little bit. You'll be baking bit. all day. T I'll be churning <laughs> butter and baking tomorrow. Then. Yes, I'll be handcrafting things. <laughs> oh, with that Christmas decorations. <laughs> oh, many Christmas decorations. No. I'll be with you. Oh, yes. Uh -huh. no. Exactly. Well, mm -hmm. my daughter was supposed to drive home from university on Tuesday after yeah. writing her last exam. So yeah. she uh -huh. more than likely will be pushed a day away. Yeah. So My guys, I'm yeah. today. Safe than sorry. Yeah. Well, and I mean, we've, we've been lucky so far. We have. You know, we it's, haven't had much last weather. Last week was plus Incredible Every single day. day. Really we haven't it had really much cold was. weather, so really we shouldn't complain. No, no. Scraping having cars, said that, I don't wish to be buried alive for three no, days no, either. No. Well, you'll get a lot done. <laughs> I don't Not if so. I can't get to the mall, because that brings up my next subject. <laughs> Do you have your Christmas shopping done? No. No. Yes. 
<laughs> Let's Are go you? to Judy's house. <laughs> okay. Let's go shopping at Judy's <laughs> house. <laughs> That's but, just it. I'm going, I feel good that I actually got one good day in yesterday, and I made my husband come with me. Mm -hmm. Initially, I don't think he was up for the challenge, but I think he actually enjoyed coming and helping pick out and having carry some say. Carry the boxes. Yeah, carry. They're totally. I'm like, that. all of these muscles, you, you know, That's I brought my own shopping cart since there's no shopping carts in the mall. I know at Costco either. Yeah. No. Oh my so no, I, I got a stab at it, So, but I'm that was about it. I no. still find I, I shouldn't say I've done, but my boys are hard to get for. Um, because they're one older. will be 17 uh, Christmas Eve, and the other one is 24. So yeah. it's really tricky. It's and clothes tricky. are so fussy. They're not just making a list when you're and picking you're gifts, but clothes are really, really tricky for other yeah. people. Yeah. I like gift cards for the stores that they like to shop at. No, because my daughter. Who would be 19? That be more. I don't know if I could pick out stuff for her. Mm. But last year, 40 billion dollars worth of um, gift cards. This, gift cards. Let's spend it. This I was oh, at last night. <laughs> 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 okay, so water. Yeah. Yes. Are you sure it's water? Yep. It might be a little bit of vodka. <laughs> so, thank you for that. Um, no, the gift cards went yeah. on. Given. Yeah. People just did, they gave them to them, they didn't give them to the stores. <gasps> so I give oh, you're you one kidding. for Tim's, you don't okay. use it, you give Oh, they're not being used. No. How much? 40, 40 billion. billion. Yeah, and when I mean, out, of course, the retailers England. are loving it because they're not redeeming the cards, exactly. right? So, so that's a pro it's free money for yeah. them. Use your, use your gift cards. Use yeah. your gift cards. I don't I always. I, I have them. probably um, five Tim Hortons gift cards in my wallet. There you go. I'll take them. <laughs> no, I'm pretty You're sure I use them? mine. Yeah, okay. I do. That's a, that's I really that's do. Really sad. Well, especially that's now surprising. in Canada, right? Because they passed the law a few years ago that, that they can't expire. That's right. right. So when you find them, they're good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, that's good. So too. shop. Gift yes. cards are really exactly. key I love way to gift give cards. gifts. Yeah. I do too. I love gift cards. I know? like money and... <laughs> Houses and uh, movie <laughs> gift cards are my favorite because it's really expensive to go know, to the movies, and, but I love it. I love going that's to the movies so much. Love. I do. I, I truly do. There's certain movies you just have to see in theater to get the full effect. So, so what don't you get for other people? There's some okay. things that you just do not give. Uh, underwear. Yeah, like well, I do that really, for the kids. Really <laughs> I'll do socks underwear. and underwear. Like, yeah, but like I wouldn't, I wouldn't buy you underwear. I buy my son's one though, with like um, you know, like well, Charlie Brown on them or something. Yeah, something cute. And, and Homer Simpson. But I wouldn't buy Audrey or... underwear. No, no. Like, do you know, I know. that would I'd be awkward for you. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I would know. I would know. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I that yeah, underwear just seems like a thing that I wouldn't. Too personal. Yeah, no. What about? Gym membership, you buy somebody. If, well, if somebody asked for you, I would. Yes. Yeah, but that that would be yeah. the only. <laughs> the only <laughs> way I would buy them. The and they should be going. It's almost like an insult to say that you should be going. Yeah. If you're not already There's signed a, up. Yeah. Like, oh, you, my husband, you should go to the gym. Here's a membership for yeah. five years. <laughs> no, exactly. But, the but the if pod, they have an yeah. existing membership and you yeah. extend oh, renew it. it. Yeah, yeah that, wonderful those idea. are great. Or if they said, I really want this for Christmas. Yeah, yeah I could exactly. that, I, that I could see. Yeah. But I wouldn't just buy somebody one just cuz alcohol alcohol is a big alcohol yeah. alcohol is a tremendously nice gift yes yes I'm, I'm all for that <laughs> help through the holidays yes i so, yes. i call that christmas cheer isn't that what i'm what? i'm a big yes on alcohol <laughs> i give my sister in law a water bottle because sometimes they're like a <laughs> back ache yeah. and it was covered with fur she didn't know what it was <laughs> oh, I, I did that one year said, what is this oh my god she yeah. had to put it over her head <laughs> or put it over the yeah. dog's head or what she didn't <laughs> know. oh my gosh it was so it's when what is this gift you get in trouble for that no. Yeah, that's just then, you know, you've made a boo boo. Yeah. What about some family Christmas traditions? Is there anything you do in particular that? Yeah. That you carried on from maybe when you're little? Yeah. Or and they still do. So um, every year on Christmas Eve, every year. Yeah. From the time I was a little little kid till, still to this day, Dad and I go shopping for my one Christmas gift from him, and and a Christmas gift from both of us for Mom. Christmas Eve. Yeah. Oh. Every, every you must start year. early in the day because things close nope. early. <laughs> no, <laughs> we, we've been in the store at like four o'clock, or you know, five to four, and they're closing at four. But no, we've yeah. we've done it every year on Christmas oh, Eve. Kidding. Yeah, and we we usually get the tree about this time. And Dad went and got the tree last night. We're going to decorate it tonight. Okay. And yeah, no, it's every year on Christmas Eve from That's the time nice. I was a little kid. Oh. Like, so you know little. what you're getting, and yeah. you tell yeah. them what you want. Yeah, basically, I want that. Yeah, That's yeah, <laughs> yeah. Up. I like those shopping trips. Yeah, really. Yeah. How do you make a decision like that when you know? Well, when I was little, else. right, it was like, you know, we, I remember going into a toy store and, and there was like 10 Barbies and I'm like, oh, which one do I want? And he's mm -hmm. like, you can pick one. Aww, yeah. And there was always, I mean, he, he and mom always gave me stuff that I didn't know about, of course, no, but there exactly. was always that one, one that, you knew. that I, I could pick out that, yeah, that yeah. I really wanted. 
Um, and so, yeah, but now, now it's it's a little tougher. I find now to say what I really want mm -hmm. for Christmas. Tell no, them, you tell know, a new car, new, new, new yeah, car. yeah, that <laughs> trip around the world. It's true. Yes, it's a great idea. No, Thank exactly. you. exactly. <laughs> That's just it for me. I would have to say uh, with the four kids. Um, it's the pajamas and now that they you know because they get to open that one gift on christmas yes. eve yeah. and they're they've all they know it now especially since the younger ones are now 11 and 14 mm -hmm. they know what they're opening mm -hmm. kind of thing and at one point i thought i wouldn't do that this year i was thinking oh they're used to it i've done it it's overdone and i had texted my daughter just to confirm the the few things she had asked for for christmas and she texted me back and said oh well i'd like a little this or that and and if you are still going to do the pajama thing these are the kind I like as yeah. opposed to the ones you've been buying and I was sitting there mm -hmm. thinking that I wasn't going to bother doing yeah. it and she's expecting yeah. me yeah. to do it, it so I, and she's 19 it yeah. is so yeah. out I went and yeah. got them all the pajamas yeah. so well, it used For to sure. be family time at home with us and mm -hmm. doing caroling and just sitting and decorating and having some good food on Christmas Eve. And now that I have a child who's going to be 17, oh um, it has to be more about it's his day. Christmas Eve. Right. Uh, right. Because it's his birthday. birthday. No, exactly. Because yeah. that's when he was Christmas born. Christmas Eve. So we get the cake and we have to, you know, make a little special yeah. moment. You or do. Gifts you really, and singing yeah. and light the candles. And so that's been tradition for almost, well, he'll be 17. Wow. But we yeah. also have a, a, a joint family tradition mm -hmm. is um, my uncle has us mm -hmm. all over yes. Christmas Eve yes. and okay. he, he makes a big, mm -hmm. huge dinner mm -hmm. and we eat for hours. Yes. Yes. Um, but he, and he's, he's been doing that for years. And, and so yeah. most, yeah, of, time. Yeah, most yeah. of us head down there it's on really Christmas fun. Eve. Yeah. Yeah. And of course, we try to get to Mass on Christmas Eve. Yeah. Yeah. We do. We used to yeah. always go on Christmas morning, but now it's Christmas Eve. Yeah. Yes. Well, I'd have to say we do our little, because of where I live, my father's just up the road and my husband's mother's down the road mm -hmm. from there. So I pack up on Christmas Eve and, the, you know what I mean? We, I've never, ever done it where we stayed home on Christmas okay. Eve. I don't remember. Brody's going to be 22. We, I always packed up the kids. Mm -hmm. We stopped at my dad's went to his mother's, mm -hmm. spent a few hours, you know, some Christmas cheer, and the yeah. cousins get to see each other because some cousins can come that night and other ones can only come the next yep. night. Right. So then when we go home, then I'm rushing around doing my final oh, little things. Final Kids already. open up their gift, you know, and then the next day with the, the morning and opening, I You're do a tired. big brunch. Yeah. And then I pack everybody up and yeah. we head back out again. That's oh. a big thing. It, it is. is. Yeah, it is. Just, we don't move Christmas Day. No, no. Yeah, veg. Yeah. I, uh, yeah, I always think about that. It would be nice to just, but, but we don't have any little kids. No, though, either, that's right? just it. So. so when the when the kids were younger, it was actually a little harder because when they opened up their presents, they wanted to sit and play. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I was trying to get them ready and packed up and out the door, and they wanted to take everything with them. Well, <laughs> and exactly. I'm like, yes. But and I think I'm an exception. I don't want anything for Christmas. I, don't, I really not don't. Either. There's not. Yeah. There really is not. And if there were things anything. I even needed, I would yeah. say, no, don't bother with me. I'd rather give. Then yeah. receive, I really would. And there's yeah. nothing I have room for well, anymore. Oddly enough, no. I want socks. You do? I'll get you I do. socks. I do. Yeah. But Bud, my dog, eats my socks. Oh, oh okay. okay. There is a reason. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Get him a oddly oddly enough, he, he yeah. chews, and I, every pair of my socks has holes in them. That's lovely. He chews, he chews my yeah. socks. That's very bare feet. I family. like gifts that would... For me, like if I came home and my house was spotless from oh, top to bottom, a dream come true. Oh, yes. like, and a yes. chef, and, and then, like a Mexican chef with just an apron to me, on. To that's kitchen. giddy up. Amazing, <laughs> amazing giddy gift. up over here. Amazing <laughs> gift. Like, Let's just put that out there. Like that. Oh, I am okay. okay with that as a gift. Oh my God, yes, immaculate. House if you haven't gotten your gift for Veronique yet. A chef. FYI. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. A chef at my with house. With only an apron. With the apron on. I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. Giddy up. And a little jingle bells. <laughs> yeah. Jingle bells. Oh, my yes. Dinner's Apparently, he's going to be wearing a cowboy hat with that, too. Giddy up. <laughs> she, she, she has a high color in her cheek now from my clothes. It's true. No, exactly. <laughs> we want to also mention, um, we have a couple of local children here. I wanted to mention that Alyssa Sipley now has her new home. Mm -hmm. She Isn't did take on a, um, she had gotten sick again, uh, not feeling well, and they had taken her, if I'm not mistaken, Taken back down the uh, yeah, IWK. She had the, same, she had the same virus. She did, right? Yeah, She's virus. a trooper. I've ever seen a kid goodness. with stamina yeah. and, and a yeah. grit. That's the a smile little. on her face. Do you see the yeah. pictures? Like, Marie, Marie Paul Terrio mm -hmm. was one of the, the uh, spearhead headers of that mm -hmm. project mm -hmm. since the summer. And she said the people that came together to, you know, to to put the house together, to renovate Decorated. it, to have it, to yeah. have it ready for her Beautiful to move in gift. last week. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah, it, it makes is. my heart that's warm. It. I know. it does. Yeah, it really that's does. one of the nicest stories well, I've it, heard. It makes 
us feel so much better about where we live and where we come little from. Little angel, for she's sure. always smiling, Definitely. like you said, I know. so she'll, yeah. I know. she'll have a great attitude. And what a powerful little girl. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Um, but unfortunately, we also have another little fella, Morgan. Morgan Doucette. Doucette, who is not well. He has a rare disease mm -hmm. you were telling us about earlier. Morchio syndrome. Yeah, we and unfortunately, the government is not has denied him they won't pay for, the yeah. for his medication yeah. well there's and a big there's a big push on right now in in um in the press of course and right. and uh you know on social media he uh he's one of he's the only one in new brunswick he's 10 mm -hmm. um and there are 33 cases in canada so it is exceptionally rare okay um the treatment was approved by health canada mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. denied by the province okay mm -hmm. um and it's uh my understanding it's not a cure it's right. a treatment um, mm -hmm. that will help prolong his life. Because mm -hmm. um, he's how old? He's 10. Mm -hmm. And so the disease attacks um, the body's ability to um, convert sugars, right? Right. And so um, his muscles don't work correctly and things like that. And his parents, of course, are, are oh. worried that it's going to start attacking his heart soon. Mm -hmm. And from what I read, um, once that happens, there really is no way to come back. Um, mm -hmm. And so this, the treatment and the drugs that that are available, although exceptionally expensive, there's mm -hmm. no question. I, th I think the last estimate I read was about $100,000 a year, mm -hmm. um, can prolong his life and, and reduce the pain. That's right. They're living in debilitating exactly. pain most times. Yeah. Well, that's the other you thing. Know, there's 350 million people globally fighting a rare disease. Isn't and that amazing? There are 7,000 yeah. rare diseases. Yeah. 7,000. That would be an interesting field no. to go into if you were yeah. going into this medicine. This day and age, especially, yeah. we feel like we've well, come so far yeah. medically with all the different things that yeah. we have out there, but yet... But this is the, one the child. Types. I one, know. one little one. fella. No. In New Brunswick. That's just it. You know? So Maybe I think, you know. Them together again if the government won't. Well, and I think that I, you know, just my own opinion, but I think the government really needs to reevaluate. It's a case mm -hmm. by case basis, yeah. which I understand. Yes. But I think they really need to reevaluate this case. Their and, plans. you know, and take it. This is a 10 year old child. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I don't think that there's any of us that would say that we wouldn't do anything for our, a 10 year old child. No, exactly. No, exactly. That's just it. Well, let my heart go so, to them. We yeah, open, for sure. Right? Yeah. Yeah, t especially so a Christmas miracle yeah. for them. This, yeah, hopefully that would be that really nice that that gets resolved. And, yeah. and you know, like you said, here he is in pain news. and suffering, yeah. and mm -hmm. uh, he probably can't even go to school or anything. No, I, would, I, I don't know, but I would imagine so it must be quite difficult. Yeah. We have some great show, and yeah. more show yeah. coming up. Yes, yes, we do. We're going As to be always. having Kara Scott joining us next, mm -hmm. who is the owner and operator of Leader of the Pack. So we're looking forward to hearing from her. Yes. And also we have Karen White O'Connell, mm -hmm. who is the regional director for NBCC. Right. Yeah. So she's going to be talking to us as well. Maybe we can talk to them and ask them what their some of their Christmas traditions are. Yes. What sure. The worst gift they've ever received, or <laughs> the best gift I don't think they want to be socks. giving. <laughs> no, no exactly. No, yeah. That's just it. Mm -hmm. So don't go away. We are going to be right back with more Have a Chat. So we'll see you shortly. Hi, and welcome back to Have a Chat. I'm Audrey Lynch, still with my co-hosts, Judy and Veronique. And now joining us, we have Kara Scott, who is the owner and operator of Leader of the Pack. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. You couldn't get rid of us. No, 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 no. I, <laughs> I know you thought about it. Yeah. Even though we're bad today. You, know, <laughs> you didn't run away knowing that you're going to be snowed in very shortly. Oh, no. I'll be baking. I know. <laughs> oh, yeah. No. Sorry. I don't it. mean to laugh. <laughs> <laughs> I want to laugh every day. There's your laugh. I hate to bake. I'd rather Judy, canal. Judy's I mean, allowed to. Their family. She's a so. fabulous baker. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. Fabulous. And she's a fabulous singer, right? There you go. <laughs> Stop. Okay, Kara. You good? Yes. She, now she's really nervous that she's joined yeah. the pack. Yeah. She's the little, leader. Too. You're the leader. I am the leader of the pack, but I'm not sure I can control this. <laughs> <laughs> you only graduate eight plus doggies. So. No. Yes, dogs are fine people. Not so much. Tell a little bit. Of, uh, tell us a little bit about yourself and the business first for those of who might not know you so okay um, my name is Kara Scott and I've been in Miramichi most all of my life basically <laughs> and I started training dogs about 20 years ago I bought two labs myself and I thought okay I don't know what to do with these guys yeah. so I looked around for dog trainer and just wasn't satisfied with mm -hmm the approaches that I could find, so I said, oh, there's got to be a better way. Mm -hmm. So I bought a book, and I did not a bad job, not a bad job with my dogs, and then I was like, okay, so this is kind of fun. You know, right. and that, I like this. <laughs> how can I get paid? To, how can I get people to pay me to play with their dogs? Good idea. I know. So it's all about playing. You just play work. So 
So anyway, so I found. I gotta a, figure out how to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Come work with we'll me. Work Play based husbands. training. Yeah, yeah. We'll work on the man. Well, We're not talking about husbands today. <laughs> <laughs> So, so I found a school in uh, Victoria, BC, and I actually had a job at the time. I was working for the federal government, mm -hmm. the firearm center, and I just decided one day, it's like, I've had enough. Mm -hmm. So I quit my job. I was mm. pregnant. Oh. Yeah, who does that? <laughs> yeah. no, I'm like, oh my goodness. So I'm going to blame it on baby brain, but uh, I quit yeah. my job and enrolled in a school. I went to the bank first to borrow money to go to the school. And I didn't tell them I quit the job because they wouldn't have been approval for the No, 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 no. Very smart. They were on a need to know You're basis. clever enough to know that one. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, so then I went. I got on a plane. And I flew out west. And I, can, I, I wasn't nervous until I got to about the Rockies. This man that was sitting with me, he said, oh, so what's your story? So I started to tell him my story. And he said, uh, so where are you going to live? I'm like, yeah, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I never thought about that. And, and he's oh, like, no. <laughs> so do you have friends there? I'm like, no. Family? <laughs> no. And then the heart palpitations yeah. started. Like, what have oh, I done? Yeah. I quit my job. I'm yeah. pregnant. I, I'm on the other side of the country. I'm I don't know. In the mountains. Yep. So, <laughs> yeah. so, but I brought, now this is the funniest thing. I brought my bicycle helmet with me because I was just going to buy a bike when I got there. Now, you have to understand, I had like a 1999 <laughs> bicycle helmet from Zellers. Oh, yeah. Like, it was not worth bringing it across the country. Yeah. Yeah. So, anyway, so I got there. Anyway, I met some wonderful people, found a place to live studied it was the hardest course i've ever taken wow it how was. long was it it was three months okay and i'd go from nine in the morning until nine at night intense it was very intense mm -hmm. and i worked with thou or not thousands hundreds of dogs probably about 200 dogs wow. and um it was it was just like the craziest thing i've ever done in my life and would I do it today? Probably not. No? But I'm, no, but I'm old. Oh, but, stop. <laughs> don't start here. But We're it's the, the same age. <laughs> uh, I'm older than you. I'm going to kick you under the table. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, no, so wouldn't do it today, just because knowing, you know, I have responsibilities yeah. now. And, but best the baby thing that you had. The baby, yeah. <laughs> so best thing I've ever done in my life. But have you um, always been passionate as a child and as a young girl with uh, teenagers uh, with, with dogs? Is that I've been your favorite? I've always loved dogs. Okay. Always, always. And even, remember when we all used to have the, the encyclopedia set in our house? Yeah. Yes. And I had one, and I'd always, like, I'd take out the D, and I'd open it up, and then there was, like, the, the threefold. And I just, I'd look at that page yeah. for hours. Passion. I know, yeah, all yeah, the different breeds. All the different right? breeds. I love them. I'm going to have this one. I'm going to have this one. And hey, so then you yeah. get back from your course and set up business right away in the I machine. did. Actually, what I did, I was, I was nervous that I was going to come home and chicken out. So what I did was I gave a gift certificate to Ducks Unlimited for a free training session. Mm. And because they were having their auction while I was training. So somebody bought it. Good. So I was committed. Right. I had to do this. I had to do a course. Mm -hmm. So anyway, I came back and anyway, I did my private training session which is a whole other story. Yeah. But, um, and then I, I did a class, one class. Yeah. I had three dogs in it, and it was, um, Sherry was one yeah. of the ones, she, one of her dogs that was in the class, but yeah. Penny. Penny. It went well. Penny. It went well, yeah, I had three, three dogs, and I'm glad I only had three dogs, because I don't think I could have handled the classes I do now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, but it was a good way to learn, and all the dogs did everything that, I said their dogs would do. And so you train yeah. them all together in one session. Yeah. So you teach them how to whatever heed, like sit at the door when someone comes. Or well, in the classes, what I teach is the I teach them to walk on the leash without pulling. Okay. To yeah. sit and to lay down, both to hand and voice commands, and to hold those positions while they're. And you, what we do is we'll put your dog in a sit, and you'll walk away, and you'll go pat another dog. Or we put all the dogs oh, in a right. in a down in the middle of the room. We play frisbee over their heads. And both my dogs have been through Kara's training. Oh, you're kidding? Yeah, both we we, we went at the same time. Labda, our, we got from the pound. Or, well, the SPCA, I keep calling it the pound, and he was fully trained. But my mother was very afraid of him at the time mm, because exactly. he was a larger dog, mm -hmm. right? And and we had never had pets ever. Yeah. Um, but he, I mean, he's the most wonderful dog. He never had um, snake. I thought you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 I don't love you anymore. <laughs> And then no. my little bud was, um, he's, he's getting by on his good looks. Okay. He, is, yeah. he is as cute as they come. He and is. is. And the sweetest little doggy, but he's a little dog. Duh. And so, but, but, <laughs> but both, we, we took both dogs to mm -hmm. Kara's class and they were, they were wonderful. Dumb poor, and dumb. poor Lab to cry. Those the whole time. She did. I squeaked. Oh, we actually yes. have, believe it or not, uh, a viewer who is watching, they have a question for us on Facebook. Mm. Oh, cool. And uh, I, I don't have my 
don't with me, Stacy. Yes, yes, Stay, uh, yeah, I'll wait for Stacy to let me know what the question is. But there's a question coming up for you. All right. Uh, there's definitely. How many classes do you do a year then? <sighs> four. Uh, I was doing four at a time, so maybe about. 16 to 20 classes a year now. Wow. That's amazing. And the length of the class, is it different? It's or six it's weeks. Six weeks is what they are. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Okay. And you do private training as well. I also okay. do private lessons. I so almost broke problems? down in college. You, you should. Know, but, but Jansen was so keen because he's the only one home with the dog right now, so he really worked with Diva. Yeah. And he has her down pretty good. The only thing is when somebody rings the doorbell, she just barks and barks and barks and barks. Easiest and barks. thing in the world to fix. Okay. Easiest. Go on. Call Kara. That's good news. <laughs> Call Kara. That's the You're only kidding. thing that really bothers me. Yeah. If she doesn't no. know you, she's going to go crazy. Yeah. See, I'll answer your question, but you'll pay me yeah. later. I will. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm going to give you the answer to that one. Anything I have in my purse. Just tell me what the Seriously, heck I, I really like your purse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the purse can be empty. She likes it. Yeah, you said the purse. Well, because yeah. yeah. my, my biggest problem with Bud was that I wanted to let him run around the yard, but he wouldn't come, right? And mm. so that so the carrot we worked with care on, on on him coming. Right. Yeah. All kinds of techniques. Yeah. So with the barking, honestly. You, you can tell me. Yes, I'll tell you my purse. Ooh. Yeah, well just uh, I'll take the whole thing. Okay. Contents and all. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It can't be bad. Worth it. Yeah, I guess. So the barking is its one of the things that I get asked about the most, and people think it's the most difficult problem to solve, and it's actually the easiest. Thank you. I'm taking, I'm not yeah, the case, but I want to write this Absolute down. easiest thing. So whatever makes you, what makes the dog bark? You ring in my doorbell and him not knowing who you are. Okay. Or anyone ringing the doorbell. So here's the thing. You're going to go, you're going to have okay. a leash on the dog in the house. Let him walk around a bit, dragging it around, just so he gets used to the fact that he has a leash on, because okay. he's not going to know why it's there. <laughs> get somebody to ring the doorbell. And then he's going to start barking his head off. Grab yep. the, the reason for the leash is so you can get the dog. Right. So pull him over, put your hand over his snout, and you go, no, in his eyes. And then let go. Like, you're not trying to break his nose. You're just firmly. Sometimes I'd like to. You, but you're yeah. not allowed. So <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a crime. It, but I just, like that. Just, <laughs> just putting it out there. <laughs> she has a loud bark, too. Yeah, yeah she does. So, okay, so when she has a loud bark, you yeah. have to be more L loud. Not necessarily loud, Western. but... Um, like a firm, wolf more man firm. Jack. Yes. Okay, I'll be Wolfman no. Jack. Just, and, Whoa. Okay, yeah. I gotta go and practice that yeah. today now. You just did perfectly. Wasn't that awesome? <laughs> See, but so, then, yeah. so you do that, and then, okay. Pull on the time. leash, and use your big voice. Yep. And hold it, and hold Hand it. Hand over the snout. The snout. And then let go, the though. Yeah, let go, does. though. And then everything gets quiet again. Ring the doorbell again. It's gonna bark again. Do it again. Mm -hmm. Do it again. Do it mm -hmm. again. And then, okay, after a while, they ring the doorbell and they just look up at you like, okay, yeah, whatever, I'm not barking, I'm not falling for this anymore. So wait a few minutes. Go to a different door. Go knock okay. on a door. Yeah, I'll be knocking and barking. Yep. And, and yeah, and honest to God, so it's called setups, the setup technique. So mm -hmm. you, you'll, it's, I always say it's like learning a language. You'll learn French or Spanish or whatever better if you're in, if you're immersed in it. Yes. Mm -hmm. But if you... It just happens you take here a, and there. Yeah, then it's... You'll never pick it up. You might get it in a year. So yeah. what you're gonna do is the immersion method. Take a couple hours in a week. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. every day do this two or three times, ten minutes a day, mm -hmm. ten minutes each time. And uh, you'll she does love to jump on She'll people too. It. Like if she, well, she's a big doggy. She's a big girl. Yeah. What is it? It's a, a golden, golden doodle. Yeah, yeah. And lovable and friendly, well, happy, so gorgeous, sweetheart, like, but loud. Yeah, and also she'll jump even though she knows Veronique and Veronique will come over. She'll still jump on her because I don't know if it's for attention. It's like she wants to hug me. Yeah, and that's the thing. Yeah. They're so lovable. Yeah, and th which is wonderful. But like, they jump. High but they jump, and when your grandmother comes in and yeah. locks Nanny down and she breaks the hip, hip, then or you have nice stockings yeah. on, they rip them out. Yeah, and you just want to go. Why I don't like those great big dogs. But our viewer who was who was put her question on our on our Facebook page, she has just gotten herself a dog, I believe, from the SPCA who was always tied mm. and now he's a runner and she wants to know how to keep him from running. Okay. Now this is a dog obviously she hasn't had since it was a puppy so that's a little different, right? So yeah, so the running is something that can be fixed. It can it always can be fixed be. but you have to do a lot of foundation work first. Mm. Okay. So you'd have to go, you'd have to start with the very basics because also when they're learning the basics, they're learning to trust, especially if this dog is new to her, came from an SBCA. We don't know the story of the dog. No. So the dog may have trust issues. So she has to build a foundation with the dog and gain the trust. So learning the sit, the down, walking on the leash and learning those, those basic milestones, commands. technically, yep. right? They learn the basics and that when she speaks, the dog must listen. Mm -hmm. Okay. So then from there, then you can start working on the, the come command, the recall command, that's also something I teach mm -hmm. in the class, that 
um, we start off in the class, they're doing it from, it's about 75 feet. You put your dog in a sit, tap your leg twice, dog comes running, sits at your feet. Right. You start yeah. it in a safe environment. I would never try that outside right off the bat. You will fail. No, exactly. So you want to build, you want to set yourself up for success and then you can build on it and, and get bigger and bigger and farther and farther away and then go outside and okay. eventually it's off. Exactly. So, it's so it is doable. It's definitely doable. It's okay. a lot of work, especially okay. where she didn't have a dog from, from a young. puppy because mm -hmm. she doesn't know what she's dealing with. No. Could be, it could have just been, you know, surrendered for yeah. for no nothing bad, but yeah. we no. don't know. That's something our dog has started to do. Now, we got him when he was older and he must have been about 4 or 5, but now if we take him out, he has to be on a leash. Like even if he's out with me, it's just almost like he puts his nose down and he's gone. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, what is with that? And I don't know if it's now he's over 10 and mm -hmm. he's a little more disoriented or what the case may be. Like, we literally have to take him for a walk up the road before he'll do his business. Mm -hmm. He won't. You know what I mean? And I'm like, okay, the, you're getting to be more work Aging? now. <laughs> yeah, and I don't yeah. know if it has to do it with could his be. age. It could be. Yeah, it's then he's getting say. more heedless, <laughs> or is he getting deaf and he can't see? I'm like, yeah. Well, you I know? Mean, that, and that's happened with Labda. Labda has cataracts and he's deaf, right? Mm -hmm. And I, I think he had a little stroke because he's kind of crooked when mm -hmm. he walks now. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. But I mean, but we, we've now learned to accommodate the new. Well, Labda. that would be something yeah, you right? have to check to make sure there isn't yeah. medical issues yeah. that's also causing yeah. the behavior yeah. that you're trying to correct, yeah, kind sure. of thing. And that's something I usually recommend when people call me with a, a something brand new. Mm. Like if a dog just certainly became aggressive or certainly or yeah. all of a sudden started uh, peeing in the house. Laying around right. all constantly, so, like, not getting if off the If something changes couch. dramatically, we, we want to check to make sure, is the yeah. dog healthy or mm -hmm. has there been a medical issue? Mm. And then if they're fine, then we look at it from a training angle. Yeah. So well, here's, sorry, oh, no, you go right ahead. I just know a lot of people that want puppies this time of year. Well, Christmas that's where presents, I was going with and, that. and you have some probably, yes, do get that one, and no, do not choose that type of dog. Because I've seen recently, I will say, in the last 24 hours on Facebook, batches of puppies okay. and batches of kitties. Oh. You know, and I'm like, oh, I don't know. Top picks. Let's go with your top okay, five so, if they're available. Okay, so first, if I you're going to give have, one at Christmas. I have a caveat here. I do not recommend ever a dog or a cat or for Christmas. Okay. They're, Period. They're cute, they're sweet, they're fuzzy. And they're, yeah. Yes. <laughs> they're, but they don't stay a puppy and then they're cute on Christmas morning. You open it up, it's like, oh, that's so sweet. I love mm -hmm. my puppy. And then it's like, but then I got this video game. And then mama's looking after the dog and yeah. then mom's looking after the dog. And, yeah. then, and then the dog Because it's up. not the only thing they got for Christmas. That's right. Other toys. And dogs end up, this is the biggest time of year that dogs get left on the side of the road. Mm. Oh, set free in the kidding. woods. Or, oh, and, oh. and the lucky ones go to the SVCA. Oh. So oh, I never land. recommend buying it. If, okay. in, if the middle of January you still want a dog. Okay. Go to the SBCA because all the ones that were given at Christmas are there. Are there. Oh and gosh. they're trained, right? Do they train them there? Mm. They do basic training. Training for me was the hardest thing about having a dog, yeah. by far. Yes. I didn't care about the barking in the middle of the night. It was the training. And I said to the boys, the if you're going to get her dog, yeah. the you're going to train. train. And they did do a really good job with her. Yeah. That's one but thing I was do, excited about. You do have some top picks, though, top for, picks. So for when you're buying an animal, whether they're yeah. small or large or... Well, I, I would recommend different things. So okay. if you're just a basic family and you just want a nice pet and nothing, you know, to you, you want an easy dog? Get a lab. Get a lab. lab. And you know really? what? People have they're so hyper. No, they're so no. yes. A lab. Oh, yeah. I'm like they're so hyper. I don't know they're who has beautiful. one. I apologize anyone who has one, but any time I've been around them, they're just they're big and they're hyper. I and love them. I'm just they like shed, oh. though, right? they all shed. They oh. all. Mine doesn't though. Oh really? No. I mean, just bad. She's uh, <gasps> the golden doodle what? doesn't shed at all. I got broken dogs. Well, the golden retrievers and stuff. But I, they did. I do love the labs. But he gets mad. She's mixed with the poodle, see? So she has a oh, shed. Oh, okay. And same with yeah. lab is a Labrador Dalmatian. There you go. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. that's mix a plus. It with one. Yeah. So, but they're they're a good family dog, and they're actually they'll they will go with the level of energy that you Beautiful. have. Mm -hmm. Okay. So lab is always one that I recommend. Okay. If you want a smaller dog that's um, the same temperament. Just a lovely dog is a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. I know it Aww. sounds crazy. It's a big, long, fancy name. Yeah, no, I've seen but them. it's it's. Imagine if you took a Cocker Spaniel and shrunk mm -hmm. it a little bit. Okay. And then just different markings on yeah, it. Yeah, they are beautiful. Just are they? I've never heard of them. They're, they're fresh. It's a very good dog. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so that's dog number two. <laughs> of course, I'm going to say a Greyhound. Greyhound oh. Rescue. Yeah, mm -hmm. and they're good even if you live in an apartment. Oh, really? They're 
they are the laziest creatures I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Whoa! Drag them along. You have to go for a pee. Also. <laughs> like, honest to goodness, call? they, 23 hours a day, they sleep. What? What? Well, no fun. Oh, but they're not an active. Yeah, if, you're, if you're a family, you're not an active. Yeah, but if you're a family, you're not If you live in an apartment active. and you... He's going to be home alone. Yeah. Home alone all day. Poor so we have thing. one minute left to wrap up your picks. Hmm. So we've got Number three. One, okay, easiest tip when training a dog. Oh, be consistent. Okay. You, uh, whatever you decide mm -hmm. is the rule. It's the rule. Stick it's with the it. rule today. It's tomorrow. It's the next day. Okay. You cannot let them jump on your clothes today because you're just going out to work yeah. in the yard and then no, it's not tomorrow because you're going to a wedding. Right. Like they don't know. They just love you. Yeah. They want to yeah. jump. Exactly. They want to it sounds like raising you. children. Like if we oh, are yes. going to run out of time, we need to know that leader of the pack is available in the new year for a new business. Yes, of course. Okay. Always. Yeah, I have a Facebook page. Um, okay. And also a website, which is okay. the leader of the pack. Ca. The, the leader of the a pack. pack. Ca. Okay. Yeah. And telephone and number five zero six six two four seven three eight four. Okay. We'll be right back with our next guest. Don't go anywhere. Thank you for joining us. Thanks, Kara. Thank you guys. Okay. Hi and welcome back to Have a Chat. I'm Audrey with Judy and Vero. Again, still didn't get rid of we're her. still they're still here. I don't know what it is. No, <laughs> we just had a lovely guest. Kara was yes. here from Leader of the Pack, who told us a lot of great tips on her training mm -hmm. that she has for her dogs and um, and her top picks for animals. Mm -hmm. If you are looking to choose one, she has a mm -hmm. lot of great advice there. You could even probably mm -hmm. call her and talk to her about that, with, yeah. what her thoughts are on all the different breeds. But she did um, happen to recommend no puppies at Christmas time yeah, would not be a great time. not a good thing. Um, unfortunately, that's the highest rate of puppies being left abandoned and, and increasing. And a lot of work too as yeah. well as Christmas. Yeah. Christmas, yeah. Christmas, dog to Christmas is a lot of work all on its yeah, own. Yeah, it is. Period, without training, animal. feeding and yeah. barking exactly. and mm -hmm. being up all night. Yeah, and now we have joining us. Hello, Karen. Karen, Karen White O'Connell. Mm -hmm. Thanks nice for joining us. You're up next. Thanks Round two. <laughs> you ready? Glad to be here. <laughs> we know you're busy, so we appreciate you having making time for us. Lots of time for you. So you are the regional director for NBCC in the area. And tell us a little bit more about you. About me? Yeah. yeah. That's another segment. Oh, <laughs> that's that's another that's show? Okay. <laughs> well, I'm a mother of three children that we adopted in Mexico. So, oh, um, see we didn't have having, that. having said that, having, having you brought that up, we should have you back to talk about that. Yes, because it's yes. an incredible story. Adoption. Is it really? It's an incredible okay. story. Oh. Yeah. Mark three that down, Stacey. We're going to do an adoption <laughs> I would love to hear some yeah. time. Three teenagers. Yes. So all of those things. And a rookie. You really have, yeah, to, you have so to hear the story. It's, it's amazing. Actually, it, it happened at the same time as I took the role of the regional director. So oh, they, they oh, came okay. together. I, I had a lot of change at the same time. 2010, uh, we became a Crown Corporation. And mm -hmm. so we're reinventing ourselves with 40 years of tradition. And I think, Judy, you even were instructed. I was. I did supply teaching there in the 90s, yeah, 95 so. to 97. A lot of people Correctional in our program. community have had some connection to the mm -hmm. campus. Yes. Eh? And I'm yeah, so yeah, proud of that campus. are with us all the time helping us out. Yes, yeah. yeah. I've, been, I've been lucky enough to speak to some of your classes mm -hmm. um, as a mm -hmm. guest lecturer from time to time. So and one of the students I actually taught, they married my sister. So, hey, I mean, I you're I'm close. Close. You're very magic. close, Judy. <laughs> you're right in there, Judy. I'm so proud of NBCC and, and yeah. all yes. that it contains. Exactly. And just to drive yeah. down University Avenue, you know that we house a college such as that is. Yeah. Very wonderful facility. Yeah, and I think it's got a nice branding now and it's mm -hmm. colorful and we're all part of a culture that is all about transforming lives and communities and mm -hmm. that is not just a vision that you you know have on a piece of paper and say oh it's a nice vision we really believe in our vision mm -hmm. and I think when they did the strategic plan in 2010 for the next the five year uh, there were over a thousand people that were involved in giving input to that strap plan so it's okay. really student focused learner focused mm -hmm. and um, you know, it, the four commitments that we have, the commitment to our learners, our commitment to our people, which are our staff, uh, commitment to our community, and commitment to our stakeholders, mm -hmm. those four commitments cover everything that we do. 
Yeah. And you've yeah. been very hands on, like yeah, yeah. yourself, since you started. Yeah, like, and, and it's you can you can see the difference in the college oh, itself. Yes. And, yeah. and uh, one of my favorite parts that you do, and I, I we talked about this a little bit earlier, is the volunteer day oh, in the yes. community. I love that. And Me tell, too. Tell everybody a little bit more about our that. Robertson Institute is uh, <laughs> award winning actually, and it uh, comprises of everyone, all staff, and all first year students go through. Uh, an online learning course for a signature learning experience and then we go out and we action that as a full team so we do it here in Miramichi for our, our campus but that also happens at every other NBCC mm -hmm. campus mm -hmm. and uh, you can just imagine on our volunteer day um, this year October 7th we had 1962 hours over 26 activities in this Good community heavens. and 650 people Wow so it was wow. exciting out in the and all I our green shirts. Yeah. action too yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love the, yeah the green shirts I mean, I know. you know, you yes. can spot yeah. them everywhere. But you know, I, I, last year and this year, uh, both I saw, um, you know, scads of students and faculty out on the front street in both downtowns, and you know, cleaning the street Makes and helping us all keep our businesses looking great. Mm -hmm. And 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 it was amazing to see. I know, and you know? helping seniors get yes. ready for fall and raking leaves mm -hmm. and painting churches, and it just goes on. And every year it'll be different because yeah. we'll pick different activities. But the staff and students are involved in choosing those activities and they need to get together and figure out how they're going to do it. So it's a big day for us. So at our local college, how many staff would you have in place at this time and student body? Okay. Do you have a number our, for that? Sure I do. Uh, 538 for our students, our regular students, but again, we tend to focus on our regular students, but we also have contract training here that's over 100 students. Wonderful. And we also do apprenticeship training uh, for our students that uh, have apprenticeship blocks and mm -hmm. heavy equipment. Uh, service technician in industrial mechanics. Wow. So that's that group. Our staff, we have approximately 100 staff. They can fire. But 60 amazing? of those yeah. are instructors. We so need that in our river. Our, we are lacking yeah. economically, so we yeah. need that big business and, yeah. Yeah. and people with those jobs and to teach yeah. those people. And you have want. quite a few programs that are being offered specifically at ours, or is it across? Because you were telling us a little bit before we started the show some good news. Oh, yes, that's right. We have, well, NBCC has 90 programs overall on each of our camp, mm -hmm. well, for all of our campuses together and of those 90 programs 25 of them are here wow. and yeah. that is exciting as that well is. as the fact that eight of those are unique uh, what we call destination programs they only happen in Miramichi so wow. if a student wanted yeah. to take those programs they need to come to Miramichi to take them and those would be programs like our um, environmental technology animation and graphics which is an award winning I heard. program mm. um, we've had uh, several students who've won awards one of them won the an Annie which is considered like the Oscars of animation wow. oh you're so, kidding crap. Um, yeah that Ryan McNeil mm. and uh, Joel McKenzie it was in the top ten for the Prism Award for uh, the video of Canada, top video of Canada. Oh video. wow! Music video. I so, remember reading But they had a list. Yeah. There's a list of students that win awards uh, at the campus, and uh, mm -hmm. they do that with support. But we have talent too. Yeah. We graduate yeah. talent. Um, the the faculty, I have to say, and, and most of us have volunteered with someone from from the college. The faculty is amazing. Mm -hmm. They're they're yeah, in community. Faculty. They're volunteering. Yeah. They're Type spending. On. Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. like they're spending hundreds of hours a year outside of their own job trying to help their students. Yeah you know, in their field. It's amazing. Yeah, and we did, you know, the volunteer day is the one big day where yeah. we all go together. So it does create momentum and excitement, mm -hmm. but that certainly isn't all the volunteering that happens at no, all. No, I know. For, and mm -hmm. it's, it's so funny. It's like uh, this weekend at the Mount delivering gifts to seniors. Mm -hmm. It's, um, you know, the week before we had students involved in that death row challenge. Yes, yeah. 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 Okay. That was wild, that rowing oh, challenge. Yeah, the, yeah. 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 the fitness thing. It wasn't me, doing. No, no, no. It wasn't me either, oh, Karen. It wasn't oh. me, but I do try. Yeah. 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 We volunteer for different things. And we all have interests, personal interests, and we're also uh, just recently in our benefits, we do get a volunteer day. So, you know, our uh, management team and our board stands behind volunteering, and um, we're supported in doing it.